The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Okay, good morning everybody uh, and welcome to our webinar uh, which is going to introduce you to the Microsoft Dynamics Marketing Solution. Um, here with me, I'm Rosemary Charlie, by the way, and here with me is my colleague Craig Ellis and together we will be taking you through this morning's <coughs> webinar. Thanks a million to all of you for attending. Um, as I mentioned in our uh, invitation um, in the last couple of weeks, I'm a professional marketer uh, and I've been working in the area of marketing for all of my career. Um, over the last couple of years, I've been really, really pleased to see marketing, uh, marketing star rise and the role of marketing in organization increase in its relevance and its importance and the recognition of marketing as a function that can genuinely contribute to both the bottom and the top line become recognized within organizations. But like many things in life, uh, it's great uh, to see our star rise, but personally, in my own experience, I also find that the role of marketing has got a lot tougher in the last couple of years. I think there are, there's an awful lot more that is expected of us, and rightly so, but on top of that, we're dealing with a huge increase in the number of channels that we need to market through and to market with. We're also dealing with a customer who now doesn't want to be talked to, but wants to engage with us, to talk back, and actually wants to have a dialogue rather than a monologue. With all of the changes uh, that are taking place, I find that on a day-to-day -day basis, my job sometimes can be a lot tougher. And while I find that quite liberating, I'm also always on the lookout um, for things that I can do, solutions that I can find, or changes that I can make to, to what I do within the marketing function to make life a little bit less complex and a little bit more simplistic. So a couple of weeks ago, um, I had the opportunity to go over to Microsoft, and they have a new Microsoft Dynamics marketing solution, which has just very, very recently been made available in the Irish marketplace. Craig and myself were lucky enough to spend two days with um, some of the European experts from Microsoft investigating what this solution could do uh, and how it might help marketers in today's modern era. What I would really liked about the solution were many things, but if I can summarize why I think it's going to be good for me and Storm are embracing the solution and are going to roll it out in our own organization over the next couple of months. But as a marketer, what I really liked about it really falls into about four key fun pieces of functionality or four key attributes. One is in and around campaign management. Microsoft Dynamics Marketing allows me to set up multiple different campaigns at any point in time. It allows me to set up those campaigns from simply setting up the lists, the customer segmentation, the campaigns themselves, the landing pages, the call to actions, everything that I need to do. But it allows me to do it without having to go externally either from help from IT or to bring in any design help that might be traditionally required in terms of landing pages. So it puts me in control of executing my own campaigns. It also allows me to cast an eye to the future. So it allows me to actually set up a process whereby based on an activity that somebody undertakes or based on a marketing process that I want to follow, I can actually set up way in advance and automate a series of campaigns that will run and be executed out to my target prospects based on either time frames that I want to set in place or actions that my prospects might take. So it allows me to bring a degree of automation to how we're actually running the marketing function. It also allows me to put in place a quick and easy way to understand what's important and what's not. What I mean by that is it allows me to actually allocate lead scoring and have that lead scoring automated against a prospect whenever they engage with a campaign. So I can very quickly identify whether or not 
you know, there are three or four incredibly hot leads that need immediately passed on to sales that come out from a campaign, or whether or not there are 20 or 30 leads that actually are warm leads and need to come back into our marketing automation process to be nurtured to turn them in to hot leads. So it allows me to put a value based on my own criteria on prospects that engage with my campaigns. And finally, and for me at a personal level, something that's very, very important is it puts me in charge. So very simply, using dashboards, reports and drill downs, I can actually get an instantaneous view of which campaigns are returning the best investments, which campaigns are returning the most leads, and I could look at this at an individual prospect level, I can look at this at multiple campaigns that have been run together, and I can look at it at a company-wide level. So it gives me insight into the effectiveness of my marketing activity, and with that insight, it puts me in control. It helps me understand what I should do more of and what I should do less of. So from my perspective as a marketer, I really like the Microsoft Dynamics solution, marketing solution. Craig uh, is, the, is the product expert uh, in Storm for this solution, and he's now going to put a little bit of meat on the bones in and around what it actually does and how it works. So I'm going to hand over to Craig now. He's going to give us a high-level introduction to how the marketing dynamics Microsoft, sorry, <laughs> the Microsoft marketing dynamics solution works. Craig, over to you. Hey, good morning, everyone, and um, thank you for joining us today. So I'm going to give you a high-level view of Microsoft uh, Dynamics Marketing. So from the front off, we see the dashboards. So what we can do is we can look at the performance, the lead performance. We can look at my leads and opportunities from the campaigns that I've created. So on the right, we have a new widget box. So we can see exactly little, little items that we want to see straight off. Um, so we can get a list of these available. Um, so I'll go into making a campaign and just show you the ease of use. So here's a few campaigns I've made already, but I'm going to go through and make a new campaign. So we can create a name for the campaign, so we'll go with Student Recruitment. And we can choose a start and end date of this campaign. So we'll start it from yesterday, so it's active. And we'll go for the end of the month. So now lead scoring model. So these are this is we've set up so we can decide on right, we're registering for a an event. So we want the we want to see how, how good a lead is. So we have a scoring model. So we can give them a, a, t a score of 5 if they give us their name and email. We can give them a score of 10 if they say they've um, had a referral from a, a friend or a referral from a colleague. Um, and then we can go on to things like if they subscribe for or um, kind of a subscription service, that would give them a, a higher score. So we've just select this one for this. And we'll go for save. So now we can also show us the automation. So this is a really handy feature, and um, you don't need to be a coder for this. And um, what we can easily show is how you can just drag and drop a simple interface to create your own marketing campaign. So here we have, we can choose a marketing list. So we can make a, a static list that we've already created uh, of a few targets that we're going to send out to, or we can use a dynamic list. So that would be if somebody is to uh, subscribe to a, a marketing campaign, so registering for an event, and then we can send them out details of the event. So it's here we go, just double click on that, and we can select a list that we already have. So there's eight people within this marketing list, and now what we need to do is throw a trigger. So if we have an email for this person, you can send them out an email. Now you can make template emails or you can create an email by itself. So we can use a template or we can just submit and create a new one. 
very easy to use. Um, as you can see, it has subscription centers, so that would be ourselves. And you get basically a, you can use your, your email, so depending on what it is, so info at storm. That's the sender, or you can have it for a particular event, a certain email that you want to be dealing with. You can choose a subject for it. So you can say student recruitment. So automatically I've, I've sent that right. So Craig Ellis is going to be sending this email and the subject will come up as student recruitment. Now a very handy tool as well is you can actually edit HTML into your email and there's a lot of standard ones and templates that come with the system or you can create your own and use a designer to see how it actually looks. So I can show you one that's already been made. And from this we can define triggers. So we can say if this email has been opened, you can see how many people have opened the email from the eight or how many, how many people you have on your marketing list. And we can create a, if they do open this, we can send them some social media or we can send them some uh, another email about the event. And if they don't uh, open the email, what we can do is essentially a drip campaign or a drip automation. So it's kind of nurturing and saying, okay, well, they haven't opened our email. Maybe we can send a different email that might be more they might be more interested in. And so what we can set up is to send another email or to just even send, and we can send them a landing page or we can send them to social media saying, oh, we've seen that you, you, we sent you an email and you haven't opened it yet. So you can kind of get them to get them more in, enticed into the product. So we can define a specific time and date or we can say if they haven't opened it within five days, do you send a reminder? And here again, we can we can define all these. We can define the emails again and which emails coming next. So then, then we can if they if they are interested, we can send them an email. We can send them a new invite to a, a new event. Very simple, drag and drop. You don't need to be a coder. You don't need to to know all the, the functions. You you can easily see by just clicking and dragging and dropping. So what I'll do is I will go into a campaign that we've already created. And now from this, we can set this to make a landing page. So a landing page would essentially be a registration form. So we can check this one here. Now, very simple to set up. You can actually choose the different, um, different information that you need to, or require to put into your registration. So we can, we've decided here to say we need the if it is a Mr. or Mrs., first name, last name, the company, title address, and um, postal and country. Now what we've also done is put in the number of employees in the company because you might be interested in how, how big the uh, company is or an information source of where they found out about this uh, event. So it also gives you the, the, an, an iframe that you can put into a, an existing web page. So here's an example of the iframe that we have. So we set up this campaign for the webinar and people were able to go to this website and to register for the event. So all the information about the event and here is our registration form. So the user can input the email, all this information that we've requested from them typing in a capture to make sure you don't get any spam and simply clicking submit. Now all this is then fed straight back into the Dynamics Marketing System. So at the bottom of this we can go down and we can see right here's the leads that have come through this. So now what we can do is we can go okay we're interested in this lead here. We click into the lead and in the top left hand corner you can see that they have a score of 20. 
So what we've done with the um, event scoring, so this, this person has given us their, uh, their name and email. They've also given us their address and the company that they work for. So we've given them a, a score of 20. Now what we can do is we can, we can say, okay, this, this lead, um, we actually, they're a current customer um, and they're interested in, in the dynamics marketing. So we can say, okay, we can rescore them to a 30 or 40 because they're, we've, we've already done business with them and they would be interested again. So with interactions, we can see what interactions we've had with the customer, whether they've clicked on our landing page, whether they've clicked on our, our um, whether they've gone through social media, and uh, if they've clicked on any of our marketing campaigns before. And we can also send them the emails, send them any files or notes that we may have. So that's the list of leads. Now what you can also do is send a confirmation email. So very simple, the sender's address, subject and the body to, to basically tell them, okay, you've, you've signed up for this event and this is what's, this was, uh, can we give you details and requirements of the event. So it's very simple to set up. Everything is there in front of you. And what we can now go on to is, we can see our landing pages, we can see that budgeting, what you can do is you can set up how much the budget you want to spend on a certain campaign and then you can also go back and see the performance of the campaign. So all of this is stored. So campaign performance, we have all these different types of invoices and all the jobs and job performances. Now with Assets Media, you can also store all your advertising content within the system. So if you have any headers for your company that you regularly send out, so the brand and the image is all there and stored. So we can go in and we can check the events that we've already created. So we can look at these and go into say Plowing Championships. So we can see the event that we've set up. We can say the start date and when the actual exhibit is. So our campaign can run between these dates and our exhibit actually runs on these particular dates. So now what we can also give is for our internal use, we can give a brief. So we can say, um, right, we need these questions answered on this, this particular event. We need to assign tasks to the context and we can also um, add additional tasks to this. So when you assign a task on an event, it will automatically be assigned. You can assign it to someone or you can assign it to yourself. And all the tasks can be, can be highlighted into a component here. So we can add a component and my tasks. So now what you can see is, okay, I have to design an invitation email and it hasn't been started yet and, and that was on, that was recorded on the 8th of the 10th. So we can see a quick highlight view of what we need. We can also go and look at the leads that have been assigned to me through these campaigns displayed here. And then we can also go into a lead and we can assign them as an opportunity. So we can get in touch with them and we can actually send on the lead to another colleague or we can go ourselves and say, okay, this is my lead and I can highlight this into an opportunity from the interactions that we've had. So I suppose I, I can hand back to Rosemary now and, and just give a, an overview. Okay, hi guys. Um, as you can imagine, what you've seen there is just a very, very short overview and introduction to some of the key functionality that exists within the Microsoft Marketing Dynamics solution. Uh, so what we'd love to do is, uh, if this is something that has piqued your interest, if this little teaser uh, of what the solution potentially can do is of interest to you. We'd love you uh, just to give us a, drop us an email, let us know. My email address is rcharlie at storm.ie. And then what Craig and I would like to do is to work with you, perhaps and learn a little bit more about your organization, what your needs are from a marketing perspective, and take you through a deeper demonstration 
tailored to your organization of how Microsoft's Mar uh, Dynamics marketing solution might help you. So again, um, my email is rcharlie at storm.ie. Um, the demo would take in and around an hour and a half to two hours. So please drop us an email and let us know if, if, if you would like the next level of information about this solution. I'd also like to let you know that there is another part of the uh, marketing solution which covers off the social listening. So uh, part of the solution that actually reaches out to all of the online channels and listens to find out what's going on about your brand, how customers are engaging in conversations about your brand or even about your sector and brings back that information into the marketing department so you can get an indication of the level of conversations that are going on and the sentiment behind those conversations in terms of you know, the positive things that have been saying or on occasions perhaps some of the less positive things that are being talked about in the public domain. We're planning to run a social li listening um, webinar a, probably in towards late November, so we'll drop you an invite to that. But in the meantime, thanks again from Craig and myself for taking part in this webinar. And please drop us an email with any queries or questions, or if you'd like to get to the next level of information about the Microsoft Dynamics Marketing Solution. Many thanks to everybody for attending. We hope the rest of your day is great and that you have a lovely weekend. Take care and thanks from Storm. Bye.